hey, if y'all want to go faster on rollerblades, which you probably do, you got to listen to this. Okay? <laughs> and if you haven't been on rollerblades in a long time, you got to get back on them. You got to play more often, right? That's right. <laughs> So now you'll be able to smoke Rusty on the ice, man. He's, he's fast. <laughs> yeah? Man, he's just a big goon, that's why. <laughs> So why would I be rollerblading? Well, I got my man Ryan Shimbukuro. We're gonna talk a bunch to this guy. Good friend of mine from Hawaii, Salt Lake City. But he's also the US Olympic speed skating coach. Yeah, an Olympic coach. I'm gonna get some tips. You ready to go fast? I just wanna go fast. So I grew up playing pond hockey. That's like where you go out on a frozen lake or pond. In St. Louis, Missouri. Sometimes I'll play hockey here in Orlando, Florida in some different men's leagues. Sometimes I just go out for a rollerblade and skate. I like to go out with my kids. And I thought I had the technique right. So I sent Ryan some Instagram DMs. And he's like, no, you gotta do it like this, like this. Well, now here's here in town. I'm gonna get it firsthand. We're doing technical feedback for ice speed, for ice skating, right? Not inline. Because yeah. the technique is different yeah, for hockey, right? right? Bring the knees and your feet closer together. You want to feel your like your skate boots grazing each other and like your knees grazing each other. Your legs aren't going just out and back in. It's a semicircle, okay? All four wheels pointing straight ahead, straight ahead as you stride out to the side, okay? Number two, that's the second thing. Make sure that you're pushing to the side, almost forward, not letting the wheels go backwards at all. It helps if you bend your knees more so you feel like you're skating with your hips and not your quads. That looks better, but push more almost forward. You want to have the wheels going straight and forward. That looks, that's already looking better, Sean. So what you notice is you might not have been going faster per se, but we're also going a little bit up here. Your feet, because the thing is before, the way you were skating before, your center of gravity was staying in between your skates. But in speed skating on ice or to go fast, you want to push your, your center of gravity away from your skate, not have the skate go away from your body. Does that make sense? Slow the tempo. The farther the skate gets away from the body, you have less pressure on the skate. So if it already starts like 25% out, yeah. you're not maxi maximizing the early part of the stroke, yeah. which is the most powerful. So you want it here, and then as you're pushing your body, gets that stroke all the way Right, through. and we haven't even talked about weight transfer. We're just talking we about, there, yeah. yeah, we're just, well, we're just talking about body position. And I'm, I'm throwing about 10 different things at you, so I know it can be confusing, but I'm trying to just get back to the two main components. Number one, feet straight, yeah. okay? And using more lateral, lateral weight transfer, Bikes. so your skates are going sideways and not back. Bring your feet in, feet and knees together. There you go, Sean. That looks really good. So now you're going faster with less effort. So in your mind, when does the stroke start? Well, it's a trick question, I yeah. can tell. So, but I'm gonna ask, like, think naturally. It seems like the stroke would start as it's under me and beginning here, but it seems like what you're saying, the stroke should start, it doesn't stop. Right, <laughs> so exactly, it doesn't stop, yeah. okay? so. If we're already at the end of one stroke, when you get going, right? Yeah. When you get to here, this is basically the start of your, your stroke. You have to be strong here. If you're weak and you're searching to be strong on this position, you're yeah. not delivering force to the ground. Yeah. So you want to be strong here and not push so far that it pulls your center of gravity off of yes. this glide leg. Yeah. So you want to stay over it. As this comes around, you're, you're getting ready to shift from an outside edge 
to the, fr to the top of the wheels yeah. and then into okay. the inside okay. edge okay. of the okay. wheels, okay? okay? Moving and you're chasing the puck or you're chasing the defender or whatever, you're basically still shifting your body weight but in a much smaller space, yes. okay? You're not trying to be straight and your legs moving away from your body. Your body, your center of gravity is moving away from your skate. There should be no space in between because then I know. I feel my bow legs is tough. <laughs> yeah, I, I get it. But oh, you want to feel, and remember, it's easier to make that angle if you're falling into your push. Yeah. You're not pushing yourself this way. You're using your body weight by falling into that outside subtle edge. Now you'll be able to smoke Rusty on the ice, man. He's <laughs> Yeah? Man, he's just a big goon, that's why. <laughs> Not bad on the crossover. Not bad. Well, Ryan, thank you. You're welcome, man. That's a lot of fun. Wow, crazy technical. It's not just like go do a bunch of squats and try to get really fast. <laughs> there's, there's so much technique, and I honestly felt it difficult. Thank you for that. You're welcome. Hopefully it improves your guys' skating. That's something you want to do. If not, hope you enjoyed watching, but thank you for watching either way. If you guys have questions or comments for myself or Ryan, whether it's about skating, the Wakeboard Hall of Fame, wakeboarding, whatever, put those below. Make sure you follow the Hall of Fame on Instagram, Ryan, and uh, always appreciate it if you guys like and share. If you don't subscribe, maybe consider doing that. No matter what you're doing, no matter what you're riding, even if it's your rollerblades, enjoy your ride. Peace! There you go, Sean, bring them together. Coming up on a bump. <laughs> That looked really good. Hey, normally I just clear those. Oh, really? That one, you, yeah, you skied that one. <laughs>